this week's Pasha speaks about the false prophets. And Hashem is telling us to be cautious of those false prophets when some guy comes and tells you, I'm a messenger from God, thou shalt do this, thou shalt not do that. And Hashem says, watch out. Only listen to the true prophets, not to the false ones. But the question begs, how do we know which one is a true prophet and which one is a false one? And the Talmud teaches us a sign. The Gemara says that if someone comes and tells you a great thing will happen to the Jewish people and in the end it doesn't happen, that means it's a false prophet. However, says the Talmud, if this prophet says a bad thing will happen and in the end the bad thing doesn't occur, it doesn't mean he's a, he's a false prophet because maybe the Jewish people repented, they done tshuva, they came closer to Hashem so the decree was annulled. But here's the question. If we could change things, then why not say the same thing? A great thing was supposed to happen to the Jewish people, but you know what? We sinned. We made a mistake, and we distanced ourselves from Hashem, so Hashem says, forget it. I'm not giving it to them. So why doesn't it work that way too? But the answer is unbelievable. You see, God, in His infinite kindness, always wants to do us good. And Hashem says, I have something great coming to the Jewish people. And once that left God's mouth, so to speak, it's going to happen no matter what. Even if we make a mistake and we sin. But a bad thing is always dependent. We can always turn it back. I think that's a message for an outlook on entire Judaism. The default position is always awesome and great. Hashem always wants to give us good and kindness. And if Hashem wants it to happen, it will happen no matter what. Even if we make a mistake. Because Hashem promised something good, it will come. For something bad, we can always reverse it. Let's remember this message. Recognize Hashem is always there to give us the kindness. And if we made a mistake and something bad is supposed to happen to us, just repent, come back, come closer to Hashem, and nothing bad will ever befall the Jewish people. Thank you and good Shabbos.